Hi, this is David Harper of Bionic Turtle. I wanted to illustrate the idea of subordination in a securitization. Subordination along with over collateralization is a form of internal credit enhancement. To do that, I've simplified my diagram into a generic securitization structure, so I'm not showing several of the key players, including the underwriter, the trustee, the collateral manager but rather this is just a balance sheet perspective so on the left we have a reference portfolio which contains the credit sensitive assets recall there are many different types and flavors of credit sensitive assets nowadays given the credit crunch it's probably helpful to think about these as mortgage loans on the right we have the liabilities because the special purpose entity has issued securities these are obligations to the investors who have really purchased an exposure to the credit risk on these assets now if we think about mortgage loans they pay principal and interest on a monthly basis so in terms of the portfolio we speak of a principal cash flow waterfall and an interest cash flow waterfall these waterfalls are the cash flow being generated by the credit sensitive assets so much of the work around structuring the securitization is about creating the rules as to how these cash flow waterfalls are divided and distributed amongst the investors who hold these layered tranches on the left the idea of pooling the securities and transferring the credit risk away from the originators that's the securitization part of this on the right the fact that we are issuing layered or tranche securities to investors is the structured finance part of the program and so we can speak of subordination as a key part of the structuring that gives a credit enhancement to the senior tranches because according to the rules losses on the mortgage pool and by losses just think about defaults and delinquencies on these mortgage loans those losses are going to first be applied to the junior tranches so it's in bottom-up fashion I've simplified my structure here but at the bottom of the totem pole suppose so to speak the riskiest tranche that will absorb the first losses is the equity or residual tranche and remember we created this with over collateralization assets are greater than liabilities we can also speak of the width of this tranche which in many cases might be two percent so a pretty small slice of the overall capital structure then above that is the mezzanine tranche and I've illustrated here that there could be more than one class of mezzanine tranche collectively the mezzanine may be 15 to 20 percent of the overall capital structure and then finally we have a senior tranche which could have several classes could certainly have more than two maybe have nine or ten classes and you can see the width of the senior classes collectively is quite wide could be say 80 percent wide and so the key idea with subordination again is that the losses are applied to the riskiest subordinated tranches first and this gives a kind of protection a very important protection to the senior classes and in fact the structure is designed to achieve a credit rating for these different tranches and if we think about the distribution on a credit portfolio it's skewed such that if the assets are diversified and the correlation is not too great the distribution of losses that can be expected looks something like this is highly skewed such that cumulatively there's a pretty low expectation that losses would actually breach the senior tranches even if they're quite wide so this is this modeling assumption is an important part of why 
the width on these senior tranches can be up to 80 percent. Now, now of course in the wake of the subprime credit debacle we now understand that in that case in particular some of these assumptions especially about low correlation during times of stress or crisis were absolutely incorrect but just this is just the model this is just a the theoretical uh, underpinning so to conclude because the point of this is about the internal credit enhancement that can be designed into the securitization structure and if we think about the senior the investors who hold the senior securities their internal credit enhancement at least so far we haven't exhausted the forms of internal credit enhancement enhancement consist of importantly the subordination the fact that they won't absorb losses until their subordinated tranches absorb losses and secondly that over collateralization that I previously covered the fact that the structure only issued liabilities that weren't quite equal to the value of the assets in the first place this is David Harper the Bionic Turtle thanks for your time